What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. Did you get your titanium aura quartz? I feel like somebody needs some titanium aura quartz to help facilitate a Kundalini awakening. Unikite too. And then if you if you already been there, done that, angel aura quartz. They're all great crystals to have though. I feel like we're always having little Kundalini awakenings. So they're always great to have on hand. Uh, titanium aura quartz also helps to protect uh, um, the auric field too, so that's really helpful, really good. Um, okay, so we have the hanged man in the upright position, so it's like somebody is coming to the realization of something with the six of swords in the reverse position. So I feel like somebody's coming to the realization that maybe somebody was holding them back or some something was holding them back, okay? Page of Wands. Somebody may have been distracting somebody. I've got somebody out here. I don't know what that noise is, if you guys can hear it. Um, but it uh, Page of Wands in the reverse position indicates to me um, oftentimes that there's some sort of like astral travel interference. Um, somebody is having a difficult time receiving their downloads. Amethyst is really helpful for this. Uh, black amethyst in particular is very helpful with this. Um, Amethyst helps to protect the uh, third eye, okay? Black amethyst has, um, I was going to say pyrite. Maybe somebody needs some pyrite for grounding too. But um, black amethyst has hematite in it, okay? And um, that helps with the uh, the crown chakra, okay? What else? Spirit ancestors of the high spot light. I have all of those in my Etsy shop too. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. What is the message? Okay. Balance. Uh, somebody needs more balance in their life. Uh, Unikite. I, I feel like I said that. Did I already say that in this reading? I know I said that in the previous reading, the reading before this. Somebody needs that um, uh, to help balance out the, the masculine and the feminine energy. Um, but I do feel like somebody has an inner strength. They have built an inner strength from a situation. I feel like somebody, um, this has made somebody very strong and, uh, and, and more capable with regards to, and more resilient with regards to their light as a, or with their work as a light worker, okay? It's like it, you, you've, you've become better at protecting your light, okay? So you shine brighter, which is good. That helps with the frequency, the collective frequency, okay? What else spirit ancestors of the highest way life? I feel like somebody needs to watch the um, the reading I did before this. Page of Cups. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody who was delusional, okay? Uh, somebody may have, like, fed you lies. Uh, you know. So, I feel like you're, you're coming into this knowledge. Maybe somebody was, um, like, a little self-righteous. And you thought that they were righteous. I don't know, but that's what I'm hearing like some sort of a spiritual teacher that was, you know, or maybe they use spirituality as a weapon. What else, spirit, ancestors of the highest way, right? Yeah, this person was trying to keep you in a cycle. But I feel like you realize this. I do feel like you, you're you free of this, too. But you're just kind of like coming into this, this understanding more. Maybe you're intellectualizing this. Somebody's, maybe somebody's getting ready to like write a book on this. I don't know, writing a book on narcissism. Narcissism and how it's linked to, uh, I don't know, spiritual warfare. But we got the emperor in the reverse position here. Um, so there's some narcissistic energy that was trying to keep somebody in a cycle. Lapis lazuli is very helpful with regards to uh, opening up the throat chakra and also just like intellectualizing and communicating things in a grounded way. So that's a really great tool for like journaling and writing. Uh, Ten of cups in the reverse position. Yeah, they were just emotionally unfulfilled. It's like they they didn't want a happy family because it's like something like that's what they were used to or something. I don't know, but they're. I feel like you are a manifester. You, you manifest things at a rapid rate, and it's like you kind of had to separate yourself from the situation because it was like, it was like you were starting to manifest like what they were thinking, and it was that was not working. All right, because they were not good. It was it was manifesting uh, things that were not very positive in your reality. But I feel like you have. Walked away from that situation. Um, yeah, it was really emotionally draining, too. Somebody who's uh, an emotional vampire. Created a sacral chakra attachment. Probably through, like, love, 
love bombing, trauma bonding, and uh, emotional abuse. Uh, carnelian is really helpful with regards to healing the sacral chakra. Uh, I also have a um, uh, sacral chakra uh, ritual kit, like a bath ritual kit in my Etsy shop. Um, it helps to cleanse the sacral chakra. chakra. Um, that might be really good for some of you. Some dark magic was going on, okay? I feel like it didn't even really affect you, though. It, it just kind of like, you were just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is this all about, okay? So I do feel like you kind of like were flying above it, sort of. I don't, how did you get involved with this person anyway? Like, yeah, you put an end to this. Okay, that's great. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the death card. So this is, I feel like you're birthing yourself. You're birthing your new... You're birthing your new reality right now. That's beautiful. Did I already say black amethyst for somebody? Yeah, you cut this person off. <laughs> you just cut them off. All right, that's great. That's good. I feel like somebody just kind of like made a decision and did that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of swords. They betrayed you. Good for you. Fucking stand up for yourself. That's great, you know? You saw it. You saw it from a mile away. High Priestess energy for sure. Uh, Four of Pentacles. Somebody does need to open up their heart. I'm hearing Malachite. Okay, this is going to help you to, to raise your frequency even higher. For the collective and just for yourself in general. Alright? And, um, you know, sometimes after being around somebody or a certain resonance, it's just helpful. We don't even realize that our heart has been, like, closed or anything. Because sometimes we experience and we see things that are disheartening, and that can close the heart chakra, okay? So it's not like... When I say, like, uh, somebody needs to open up their heart, it's not necessarily like, I don't... Like, I'm not saying, like, love everyone, you know what I mean? I'm saying, like, you may have experienced some things that may have just kind of, you know, made you sad, so... Uh, sacral chakra, heart chakra cleansing, malachite and uh, carnelian. Yeah, there may have even been a smear campaign. Well, that's disheartening for sure. But I do feel like you blocked them off. They may have even, and also I feel like this this may have kind of like blocked. If you knew that this was happening, this 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 was disheartening to somebody. This blocked somebody's heart chakra. Um, it's like, what is the message? Um, it's like, uh, I'm oh, sorry, you guys, there's a lot of messages coming through. It's like, um, this, it's like somebody is closing their heart to someone, but instead of closing your heart to this person, open your heart to yourself more is what I'm hearing. Okay. Malachite. Uh, but this, you are much stronger than you were before, alright? This created an inner strength. Just, I mean, you're much more discerning also, okay? This is great. It's like, uh, you know, an experience you can file in the cabinet of experiences. Um, and you, you know, you stood your, you stood your ground with the Seven of Wands, so that's good, alright? You might be a little exhausted. I mean, that... Yeah, that might also be why somebody needs to balance out their divine masculine and their divine feminine with that unikite, okay? This was a karmic situation, four of wands in the reverse position. Mm -hmm. mm, I like to clarify the ace of pentacles in the reverse position. They may have stole your abundance, so they, they might be experiencing some bad luck in that regard. Um, I feel like they were really emotionally manipulative, too. Like, this is a psychic vampire, okay? Um, but I do feel like your your guides are watching you, protecting you. You are protected, okay? And um, make sure that you're taking time for yourself for self-care. And you're not, like, juggling too much. I mean, like, it's good to stay busy. It's good to move, all right? Because the universe is expansive and you want to flow with the universe. But what is this message I'm receiving? It's like somebody may have even been, like, emotionally manipulative and then they, like, like would, like, give you a gift or something to, like, pacify it. But it wouldn't pacify it. But, like, in their head it would pacify it. I don't know. Like, you guys, you know, like, the cycle of abuse is, um... Yeah, this was a dark empath. All right. Ugh, ugh. Like, uh, I mean, and, and this is the thing, too. It's like, if you receive a gift from an asshole or somebody who's abusive, like, never feel bad for it, okay? Like, I don't know if maybe this is somebody that's 
I don't know, but like the thing, because the cycle of abuse is, um, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, love bombing, okay, gift giving, love bombing, stalking, all right, and then, um, and then abuse, all right, love bombing, stalking, abuse, love bombing, stalking, abuse, okay, hovering, all right, so it's like, and if you don't accept the gift, it's like, then the hovering phase is not very long, and then there's the abuse, you know what I'm saying? So, like, don't feel bad. I'm, that's a message for somebody, I feel like, okay? Somebody needed to hear that, all right? Um, I'm sorry, I'm not shaking my head at any of you. I am shaking my head at this situation. This is bullshit, okay? I hate abusive people, all right? Somebody you may have even lived with. I'm very sorry. Yeah, it could even be, like, a family or something like that. I don't know. You guys take a resonance, okay? You're highly empathic. You're highly empathic. I also feel like you, you're, um, just by being in the presence of other, of other people, it's like you, it's, I'm seeing like somebody raising their frequency around other people and, and that helps to heal them. But it's like you, you're constantly having to heal yourself in order to heal others. Okay. So it's like, but people would not give you the space. All right. This is a message for somebody. People would not give you the space to be able to heal. So it's like, it's somebody need, you needed to separate. That's, that is, that is parasitic, okay? That's not healthy. What else, spirit, ancestor, the high school light? The boundaries are important, all right? Boundaries teach people how to love us, okay? So there's nothing wrong with setting boundaries that messages for someone. Yeah, just uh, uh, rest and um, I have the four of swords here. You know, rest, make sure you're meditating and just um, uh, self-preserve, okay? Boundaries, all right? I am going to end the reading right here. Um, if you would like a personal reading, please feel free to contact me, 616-485-3479. Um, also, please feel free to check out my Etsy shop, too. That's a great way to support this channel if you need any Etsy or any uh, crystal supports. Um, I will leave a link to that in the description box below. I will also leave my PayPal information in the description box below. If you would like to make a donation that way, it would be so amazing and so helpful. And I'm sending you guys lots of love. Don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? Love you guys. Thanks for being here. Bye.